Hello everybody in Facebook land. It's Brianna. How is everyone? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be tuning in in the world. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brianna. I am the founder of this group and I help teen girls and young women end the vicious cycle of their mental health challenges so that they can rise above them and truly start loving themselves from the inside out. And I'm just coming on really quick to do this I was listening to Joe Dispenza. If any of you don't know Joe Dispenza, listen to her, his work. He's amazing. And he was talking about gratitude, okay? He was talking about gratitude and why. Oh, by the way, if you're joining me live, let me know you're here live by commenting below live. If you're watching the replay, comment below replay. He was talking about gratitude. And I think this is a really important lesson for not I think, I know this is a very important lesson for teen girls and young women who are struggling with their mental health because it's everything that I teach my clients. Um, oftentimes in the world, you know, we're waiting for the good to happen in order to feel grateful. We're waiting for evidence to show us that we can have what we want <clears throat> and then we'll believe it, right? And it's totally backwards. Like this is how we were raised. This is what we learned in school, but it actually doesn't work. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some water. It actually doesn't work when we're talking about manifestation and helping your daughter to create her best life, right? This also goes into law of attraction as well. But in order for your daughter to create her best life, it's not about waiting for the circumstances in her life to change for her to be happy, for her to be like, oh my God, I did it, now I believe it. We have to create it first. And then the ripple effect is that your daughter has the life that she wants, right? So what's the, what do we have to do in the beginning? The beginning is your daughter has to start being grateful for her life. Now, some of you may be listening to this and being like, how can my daughter be grateful? She hates herself. She's like, you know, dealing with X, Y, Z. Life's really hard for her. Blah, 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 blah. She's got a lot of obstacles, a lot of problems, a lot of challenges. Brianna, how can she be grateful? And probably your daughter would maybe say the same thing to me. How can I be grateful? I've been through shit and back. How can I even possibly think that way? This is the challenge, but it's also the opportunity, right? The opportunity for your daughter to take control of her life and really step into who she wants to be, it requires an identity shift. So stepping into the person who starts feeling grateful for her life, that is, that is an identity shift, right? That's not her normal day to day like, oh yeah, let me just, you know, go about my life and be grateful and be like, oh my gosh, I have everything I want. It's different. What is required for that is a different skill set, right? What is required for your daughters to step into someone who can start looking at her life and being grateful. What is required for that is your daughter has to start having um, a new perspective on her life, right? There's many different things that have to go into this for your daughter to start being grateful for her life. It's a new perspective. It's also new beliefs. It's also a new story that she's telling herself about her life, right? And so it's very easy for these girls who are struggling and have been struggling for some time to look at their lives and be like, oh, it sucks. It's never going to get any better. Woe is me. Life is hard. It's not going to change. Yada, yada, yada. We know that complaint train, right? And listen, a lot of your daughters have every right to feel that way. And it's not going to help them at all to create their best life. So they can be on that victimhood. They can be on that complain train as long as they want. But as long as they stay there, nothing's changing and nothing is happening, right? Positive, I mean. Like they're not really going to be able to create change in their lives. In order for your daughter to transform her life, she's the one that's got to change. It's not outside circumstances. It's not this person and that person and this coach and this friend and this boyfriend and this girlfriend and you parents. And No, in order for your daughter to change her life, she has to change herself. This is the work that most girls don't want to do. 
because it's hard, because it's messy, because it's icky, because they don't want to actually turn inwards and look at themselves, right? It's easier to pop a pill. It's easier to vent about your day in therapy. It's easier to do all of those things, but then we got to look at the results. Is your daughter doing those things and getting results? And if the answer is yes, then fantastic. But if the answer is no, then some things have got to change. So let's get back into this, um, this topic of gratitude, right? How does your daughter start having gratitude for life she hates? How does your daughter start having gratitude when she's stuck in depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts and self-harm and an eating disorder and she hates herself? How's she going to get gratitude from that? Again, it's a shift in perspective, right? What got your daughter into the depression is not what's going to get your daughter out of the depression. What got your daughter in the anxiety and the self-harm and the suicidal thoughts is not the same mindset that's going to get her out of it. So in order for your daughter to actually start seeing life differently, she's going to have to start looking at life differently. And this goes into her identity. This goes into the narrative that she says to herself every single day about her life, about who she is, about the story that she's created. Because the story is what is creating your daughter's suffering. And so in order for your daughter to start feeling gratitude for the life that she has right now in this moment, even if it's not good, Again, she's got to change the story. This is what I help my clients to do. We can go all day long with the victimhood and the woe is me and the life is hard and it's never going to get any better. And I'm telling you right now, if you're, however long your daughter is staying there, things will never change. They will never change because she's not changing. And we are energetic and vibrational beings. What does that mean? Well, what your daughter is putting out into the universe what your daughter is putting out there in the world, she's going to get back. So if she's putting out negativity and complaining and, and sadness and grief and shame and blame and all of those lower vibrational um, emotions, it's a ripple effect. What she puts out there is what she gets back. But what if your daughter actually starts doing the work? She starts doing the healing work. She starts doing the self-love work. She starts working on her mindset. She starts stepping into a new identity. That is when things start shifting for your daughter because vibrationally, energetically, your daughter is moving up and up and up. And when your daughter starts moving up and up, then she starts attracting different things into her life. Good experiences, amazing people, right? Um, opportunities that would never have come to her before when she was in that lower vibration. So having gratitude teaching your daughter how to have gratitude. I mean, this is not as easy as you just being like, cause there's so many components into this. It's not just like, sweetie, let's sit at dinner time and say what we're grateful for. There has to be so much more that goes into place in order for your daughter to be grateful, in order for your daughter to change, in order for your daughter to have a transformation, right? This goes into identity shift. This goes into telling herself a new story. This goes into her beliefs. This goes into her mindset. This goes into her healing. This goes into her self-love. There's so many different components that play a big role in all of this. But let me tell you this, when your, star excuse me, when your daughter starts doing this work, she will start to feel a shift. She will. It has to happen, right? And yes, and this is why it's so important um, that your daughter has a container of support and coaching and, um, and inspiration and motivation and all of this because what tends to happen is these girls, these young women, they're doing the work. Maybe it's starting to feel good and then they're like, whoa, wait a second. Let me take a step back because this is starting to feel a little bit too good, right? The mind is in resistance to this. Let me be clear with this. If your daughter has been struggling for a long time, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, 10 years even, if your daughter has been struggling a long time, oh, Shay, hi, love you. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even know. Okay, I wasn't even looking to see who's joining. Hey, Grace. Hey, Jessica. Good to see you guys. Um... Oh my God, where was I? Okay, focus, Brianna. <laughs> what tends to happen, oh yeah, I remember. What tends to happen if your daughter has been struggling for a long time, she's created a whole story around it. She's created an identity around it. 
So depression or anxiety or eating disorder or self-harm or suicidal thoughts is really all she knows. It's like it's become who she is, right? So this takes work. This takes intention and attention in order for your daughter to shift. I hope I'm looking at like the right thing here. I just got a new phone. And so I'm like, I've been playing around with it. It's very fun having a new phone. But I'm like, I hope I'm looking at the right thing. I think I'm looking at the right thing. Hopefully I'm making eye contact with you guys. <laughs> Anyways, this is what is required for your daughter to change. It's not about outside circumstances changing for your daughter. That is, that is not what's going to help your daughter. Like you could say, you know, a lot of times we think, well, let's just go on a vacation. Let's just, you know, do this. Let's sign her up for a sport team. And I'm not saying those things can't help. Sure, they can. But if your daughter's not healing, if she's not creating a new identity, if she's not creating new beliefs that are going to serve her and empower her, then all the vacations in the world are not going to help. All of the sports teams are not like, no, she's got to do the inside work. She has to. So if you've watched this far, amazing. Remember, type below live or replay, whatever you happen to be watching. Um, I'm going to leave my webinar below. It's called Healing the New Medicine for Anxiety and Depression. Definitely check that out if you haven't. Also, set up a call. If you watch my webinar and you're like, oh my God, I love this. I need, to, my daughter needs to do this. Then sign, then sign up for a call, okay? Your daughter has to be open to the help though. We don't work with just anybody. If your daughter isn't open to receiving help, unfortunately, we can't help her. I have a very, very high success rate. The reason I have that is because we, we don't work with just anyone. I want anybody who's signing their daughter up in my program to have results in the end. Your daughter has to be an active participant in her own healing. Your daughter has to be an active participant in her own shift in identity, shift in mindset. It does take work. It does take practice. And so not everyone wants to do it. And that's fine. There's no judgment for all of the girls out there that don't want the help, that don't want to do this but I can't work with those girls. I can only work with those girls who are ready, who are willing, and who are saying yes to transformation or change or whatever, right? So with that, I'll leave the link below for the webinar. Check it out, book a call if it resonates. If you have questions, leave them below. And happy Sunday. Love you guys. Bye.